Never Tell Me The Odds, that on the same day I'm recording the Never Tell Me The Odds subreddit, the newest video on our sponsor, the Sparkle Shorts channel, is called Never Tell Me The Odds. Now yes, obviously I could have engineered this to happen if I wanted to, but I genuinely didn't. It is actually a coincidence. And because of that, you should make sure you subscribe to the Sparkle Shorts channel, which is linked in the description. And while you're down there, click the like button, because it's a pretty cool sponsor too. All right, let's start off with number 19, right in the garbage can. That's where some YouTube comments sometimes say my videos belong. I've never watched a game of cricket other than seeing clips like this every now and again, and I don't know how it works. Is that a good thing? Is that a home run? They, apparently the score is 97 or something like that, so home runs must be pretty common in cricket. I genuinely have no idea how it's actually played or if that's a good thing or if that's just out of bounds. Is that a foul ball? Personally, I think that should be a home run. They're like, I don't really want that ball again. If you guys don't mind, can we just get another one? I don't know what's in that trash can. I don't really feel like pitching that thing again. I'm I'm good. Thanks, guys. Got the claw machine stuck at the back of the door opening. What? How did you manage to do that? <laughs> you made it even more rigged than it's supposed to be. Now it just straight up doesn't even have a chance to grab anything. That's very impressive. Maybe the whole plan all along is find a way to get the thing stuck and then you gotta call an employee over, have them open it, and while they're opening the door, you just dive in and grab the thing and run. It's the only way you're getting anything out of the claw machine at all. So it's probably your best strategy anyway. Be in the right uh be in the right spot so a sea lion question mark takes your big fish. I don't think the question mark was supposed to be there, that's why it was throwing me off. I gotta watch that again. Oh, just grabbed it by the tail. Hey. Work smarter, not harder. If they're doing the work for you, you might as well. Sea lion's like, what the heck, dude? These perfectly good fish, why are they just holding it? Why aren't they eating it right there? What a waste. This thing isn't going to be fresh by the time they're starting to eat it. This is way better suited for me to eat, okay? Get wrecked, loser. Heat-seeking fireworks. Oh god, is it going to come right back? And like through the... thought it was going to come back through the tire, too. Wait, that's so dangerous? That could probably do some serious damage to someone. Hopefully they're okay. How did that, like what? So the thing exploded? It looked like it had an explosion there. Was there like a primary detonation and then it detonated something else that ended up coming back? Also, I've never, I've never seen someone launch a residential firework out of like a PVC pipe like a bazooka. <laughs> this seems like if you're, if this is how you're launching the firework that you bought at whatever firework store, bad things are probably gonna happen. You just kind of got to expect it. How does a car crash like this? What in the world? Ah, uh, my assumption is like the road is to the left and this is a fence that's separating uh, this house from the road. And so the car must have done like a rollover, got into the air and then ended up on the other side of the fence. Like I assume the star, the, the car started on the left and then ended up going over the fence. Uh, otherwise I'm, it came from this side and like pole vaulted or uh, just hit something that was very, very solidly planted in the ground and then just tipped over. I don't think that's what happened though. <laughs> just really enthusiastically drove out of their garage. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, is that a, gun range target? Did you hit a fly with a bullet? Well, I guess it was over pretty quickly for it. <laughs> I like how you actually just decided to pick up the the stuff that's still intact of the fly off of the paper. That is real, like that, that's kind of, that's kind of awful looking. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that a fly would have red splatter from the, hmm. Kind of morbid. I haven't really been too concerned about flies on Aliving before, but it just doesn't look so good. Man narrowly avoids being crushed by a tree struck by lightning. I felt like Buster Keaton. Oh my god. Yeah, bro, that's like some Mr. Magoo luck right there, dude. <laughs> like in Mr. Magoo, he'd just be walking and then the tree would fall on either side of him and he would just have no idea and just keep walking. That's, uh, did it straight up it, it just, it compacted the sunroof around him. He's basically wearing his car now. <laughs> like, it's very securely in there, 
you could get sent on like a roller coaster or something like that, go through loops and stuff. You would be held in there. You would not be going anywhere with your like metal seat belt hooks. Lightning strikes the road on I-10 in Florida, causing a chunk of asphalt to go through the windshield of a truck. Uh, what the frick? Oh my God, what the heck? And everyone was okay, right? <laughs> Jeez. It's like, you gotta look around for potholes, but then potholes can just develop in front of your car in the blink of an eye, and also send that chunk right up into your car. Oh my god, see, no matter how good of a driver you are, this is something that you just, you're just in trouble, no matter what, there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to hope that you, your head is not in line with this chunk of the road that's suddenly in front of your car at 65 miles an hour, maybe slightly slower if they're being cautious in the rain, a mere 55 miles an hour to impact the chunk of asphalt <laughs> with your head. I mean, the, the cutoff's around 60 miles an hour, 55 your head will be totally fine, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the? I don't know what they never tell me the odds about this is. Like, I, there have been plenty of instances of people crashing in really bizarre ways, but I guess uh, you don't often get the person making a face right there. Like, oh, I wish you weren't taking a photo. This is kind of an embarrassing place to be. And yeah, I I mistook the uh, the brake for the gas, kind of just slammed on it, and then and then I'm, but now I'm here. So uh, I'll be I'll be more careful next time with, with which pedal is, is which. Sometimes you panic, you know? This tiny bubble landed on a cactus and didn't pop. That, that is, this is a very like mildly interesting slash never tell me the odds post. It's because it's it's a furry cactus. It's not a, it's not a very pointy sharp one. Although, oh God, I bet you that that thing would probably be way worse than ones that actually have more solid pointy things. Cause if you, oh, uh, just, I bet that thing exists just to troll people. It looks soft and fluffy, and then somebody runs their hand over it and is like, immediately, I've made the worst mistake of my life. There's 50,000 spikes in my hand right now. Oh my God, what have I done? It looks so cute. I was like, oh wow, it's a cute fluffy cactus to pet. No, it's not. <laughs> this is awful. How did this evolve just to lure people into hurting themselves? <laughs> it's so soft a bubble can be on it. Ow, my hand is destroyed. Boop. And this is why we wear helmets, everybody. Cause that, that probably would have hurt. So is the, oh my God, dude, that would have hurt. Imagine without the, without the mask there. Cause in baseball, they don't wear masks, right? Oh God, imagine how much that would hurt. Oh, especially with a baseball and with no mask. Oh, you'd be, oh, oh, that, that'd be pain. That'd be massive pain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it was at that point that she was like, all right, I've complained a lot about the face mask and how they don't have to wear it in baseball and it's kind of intrusive. I'm never complaining about it again. I still have a nose, I can still smell. This is great. Oh God. Is the ball still in play at that point? Have you caught your own ball? Are you out? Did you just strike yourself out? <laughs> is that how that works? Pigeon perfectly photobombs GF. It's uh, it, it, it just, it looks like She's about to be picked up by a giant pigeon. <laughs> You've just taught your girlfriend and your dog in their last moments before they were dragged away, never to be seen again by the elusive giant pigeon. No one knows where it resides. For something so enormous, somehow scientists haven't been able to use radar to track it. And uh, many have gone missing. Hopefully one day they'll be found. Grandma doesn't know she almost unalived. This, this makes me very uneasy. Oh my god. Everything about this just makes me so nervous. Oh, this is so uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it just, it just seems like... I don't know, is this kind of, I've never cut a tree down. Is this just kind of how it is? You just hope for the best? Or are there are there safer ways that this could have happened to where she didn't almost just get domed by thousands of pounds of wood? <laughs> oh my God. And also just like, are basic reading glasses, like, is that, is that an L5 protection there for a chainsaw? Like just your basic reading glasses? I feel like there should be more, but maybe I'm just, I'm, 
trying, I'm overly cautious. Who throws it back? Is he about to get hit in the head? Or, oh, no, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> I, I figured it was just gonna bounce off the rim and he wasn't gonna be looking and he was gonna get hit in the head. And I was like, we've all done that at some point, haven't we? You know, just try to shoot the shot and be like, no look, walk away, and then it just misses and bounces and hits you in the head. You're like, that was, it looked a lot cooler in my head with me making the shot rather than the rim just kicking it to the back of my head. But here we are. That's pretty gnarly though. Would that count? In like, in a pro basketball game, if it went back over the backboard and then, I mean, I don't know if the, the baskets probably aren't constructed in a way that that could happen, but would it be inbounds? Would it be out of bounds? I don't know where the line's drawn, huh? We've seen this one before, so we'll move on to my dad running into Jerry Springer at the airport, then running into each other at the Verizon store the next day. pre crown This is, um... <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, but at this point, Jerry Springer's like, huh, are you, uh, trying to, like, I don't know, copy my sim? You stalking me? Are we sure this is a coincidence? Like, there's a lot of thoughts going through his head in this second photo. Oh, he's not sure. He's not sure if he can believe it's completely a coincidence or not. And he's really hoping it is. But he's also just putting a plan into action, just in case it's not a coincidence. <laughs> I'm glad it ended up actually being one, but you know, you never be you can never be too careful. Like, okay, the Verizon store. I have a lot of there's a lot of important things that I do with my phone that are tied to my phone. So it'd be bad if that got compromised, right? So uh, yeah, okay, all right. Hopefully we're good. Hopefully we're good. One lucky dude. Hero Bird saves guy from $300 fine. We've seen this one before, but there you go again. Not what I was planning, but I'll take it. That was, that was the ultimate trick shot. <laughs> now do it again, okay? Until you're able to repeat it, you can't really you can't really claim that you did it. It was pure luck, all right? Now you gotta keep working at it. And little do we know this was actually filmed like 20 years ago and to this day, every day, he still, for hours a day, tries to recreate the shot unsuccessfully. This was the moment where he peaked and it's all been downhill since. I mean, he is obviously trying to like film for the trick shots. I have seen some clips on Instagram before. I, I mean, TikTok and Instagram, I bet there's like a big pool trick shotting community. I bet they get lots of traffic. I bet it's a booming thing over there. I'll need to look into it more. Maybe I should get good at pool. And the top for the last month, snorkeler finds lost wedding ring uh, wrapped around mullet fish off of Norfolk Island. Poor fish. <laughs> like, that's unfortunate. That's probably, I hope it's fully grown because if not, like that, it's already an issue. It's gotta be really uncomfortable. I hope fish don't feel much because can you imagine like just when you're young, a thing being put around your neck and then you just grow and then that's uh, not, that wouldn't be a good thing. That would be a very bad thing. The real never tell me the odds here would be though, if you actually found the person who previously owned this and then you returned it to him. That would be the real never tell me the odds moment right there. So this I'm just like, that's kind of sad. This is like a worse version of one of the soda packaging things because this thing can't flex at all. Poor guy. Well, that's it for the last month of Never Tell Me The Odds. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Also, check out our Never Tell Me The Odds sponsor, Sparkle Shorts channel. Make sure you're subbed here, hit the bell, turn on notifications, check out the last Never Tell Me The Odds video linked in the description or just the playlist for all of them. And I'll see you next time.